وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله الذي غرس شجرة الإيمان في قلوب عباده الأخيار وسقاها وغذاها بالعلوم النافعة والمعارف الصادقة واللهج بذكره آناء الليل والنهار وجعلها تؤتي أكلها وبركتها كل حين من النعم والخيرات الغزار وشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له الواحد القهار الكريم الرحيم الغفار وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الرسول المصطفى المختار اللهم صل وسلم على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه البررة الأخيار أما بعد My beloved brothers and sisters In this episode inshallah ta'ala I want to speak about حلاوة الإيمان The sweetness of الإيمان أخي الحبيب My beloved brother And my beloved sister اعلم نو رحمني الله وإياكم يا الله في مرسل anyone, every one of us and may Allah تبارك وتعالى bestow his never ending blessings onto us that the iman has a halal or sweetness that a believer can find and anyone who Allah تبارك وتعالى bestows his mercy onto him and he finds that sweetness he will never find a sweetness like it ولذلك ابن عثيمين الشيخ محمد بن صالح العثيمين he said in his kitab القول المفيد على كتاب التوحيد he says ما يجده الإنسان في نفسه وقلبه من الطمأنينة والراحة والانشراح وليست مدركة باللعاب والفم فالمقصود بالحلاوة هنا الحلاوة القلبية the sheikh رحمه الله he said that which the person finds ما يجده الإنسان في نفسه وقلبه وطمأنينة والراحة والانشراح It is the contentment and it is also the relaxation in which a person finds وليست it is not مدركة باللعاب والفم It's not on the tongue and the mouth and لبدا But what is it? فالمقصود بالحلاوة هنا the sweetness that's referred to here is الحلاوة القلبية It's the sweetness of the heart أخي في الله My beloved brothers and sisters الإيمان هو غذاء القلوب وقوتها إيمان is the food the nutrition of the heart وقوتها and it is what gives strength and power to the heart كما أن الطعام والشراب غذاء الأبدان وقوتها The same way that eating and drinking They give nutrition to the body And they give strength to the body The Iman It gives nutrition To the heart And it strengthens The heart وكما أن الجسد لا يجد حلاوة الطعام والشراب إلا عند صحته فإذا سقم لم يجد حلاوة ما ينفعه من ذلك The same way that the body doesn't find sweetness in eating and drinking when it's sick it only finds sweetness and uh, joy in eating and drinking when it's healthy صح? Somebody bought you a nice meal but you're sick you won't taste the sweetness of that food you won't feel it but if the person was to bring it to you when you're healthy and you're good you'll enjoy that meal the same way, brothers and sisters. You won't find the sweetness of Al-Iman unless you're what? Or you won't find the sweetness of life unless you have Iman, my beloved brothers and sisters. فكذلك القلب إنما يجد حلاوة الإيمان من أسقامه وآفاته فإذا سلم من مرض الأهواء المضلة والشهوات المحرمة وجد حلاوة الإيمان عند عندئذ. When a person is hot, is free from desires. When the person's heart is cleansed from doubts, the person will start to feel the sweetness of Al-Iman. Once you become sick, your heart becomes sick. You won't find the sweetness of Iman. The same way your body doesn't find the sweetness of drinking and eating 
when it doesn't what? When it doesn't have health. Okay? And that kalam that I just read on you, brothers and sisters, is none other than the kalam of the great scholar, uh, Al-Imam uh, Ibn Rajab Al-Hanbali, rahimahullah, in his kitab, uh, Fathul Bari. So my beloved brothers and sisters, ponder here and contemplate. If you want to taste the sweetness of Al-Iman, if you want to enjoy, enjoy the Iman that Allah Taala speaks about in the Quran, and the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi speaks in the Sunnah, then try your best to clean and cleanse your heart from the sins. Because once the sins come in, brothers and sisters, what does it do? It, it will fight against that Iman. وَلِذَلِكَ the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said in the hadith, لَا يَزْنِي الزَّانِي حِينَ يَزْنِي وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ that the person does not commit zina whilst he or she is committing zina in the state of iman. Because if your uh, iman was complete, you would have tasted the sweetness of iman. You would have been far from falling into sins. You would have been. So sins taint the heart which stops the person from tasting the sweetness of al-iman which then affects the person in the long run brothers and sisters inshallah ta'ala i now want to speak about kareem some characteristics that if a person comes with they will taste the sweetness of al-iman uh, they will taste the sweetness of al-iman and he's mentioned in one hadith of the Prophet والسلام, the scholars have mentioned this hadith has reached mutawatir. Okay, and it's a hadith, inshallah ta'ala, that I believe a lot of you have heard of. It's in Bukhari and Muslim. In the hadith, Alice ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that the Prophet وسلم, he said, man kunna fihi Anyone who has these three things has found the sweetness of al iman. And yakun Allahu wa rasulu ahabu ilayhi mimma siwahuma. The first one is you love Allah and His Messenger more than anything. That's the first. The second one is وَأَن يُحِبَّ الْمَرْءُ لَا يُحِبُّهُ إِلَّا لِلَّهِ You love a person only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No other reason. And the third one is وَأَن يَكْرَهَ أَن يَعُودَ فِي الْكُفْرِ كَمَا يَكْرَهُ أَن يُقْذَفَ فِي النَّارِ That the person hates disbelief or hates to fall into disbelief and return to disbelief in the same way that he hates to be thrown into a fire. This hadith, uh, the great scholar, uh, Abdurrahman Nasr al-Su'diyu, in his kitab, At-Tawdih wal-Bayan, li shajarat al-Iman, page 35, he says the following. He says, Akhbara, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the Prophet has informed us in this hadith, fi hadha al-hadith anna lil-Imani halawa, that the Iman has a sweetness, fi al-qalbi in the heart. Ida wajadaha al-abdu, when the person finds it, if the person receives that sweetness of al-Iman, إِذَا وَجَدَهَا الْعَبْدُ سَلَّتِهِ عَنِ الْمَحْبُوبَاتِ الدُّنْيَوِيَّةِ وَعَنِ الْأَعْرَاضِ النَّفْسِيَّةِ وَأَوْجَبَتْ لَهُ الْحَيَاةَ الطَّيِّبَةِ What does it do, brothers and sisters? Once that Iman enters the person's heart and it plays, what will happen is that this person, all of the evil things, it will push them away from it. It will get rid of it. It will make you stay in line with that which the Sharia has sanctioned. It will then bring you prosperity and contentment. That's what it will do. Then the author, Rahimahullah, the great Imam, Al Abdul Rahman Nasr al Saudi, he says, فَإِنَّ مَنْ أَحَبَّ لِلَّهِ وَلِرَسُولِهِ Anyone who loves for Allah's sake and the Messenger, the person will run towards the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if someone loves something so much, what does he do? He goes and he remembers that thing a lot. And he gives precedence to following the Prophet over everything. He gives it more precedence over the things that his nafs wants and that his nafs is calling him to. The Shaykh says, Rahimahullah. فَمَنْ كَانَ كَذَلِكَ Anyone who's like that. فَنَفْسُهُ مُطْمَئِنَّ His nafs is in a state of tranquility. مُسْتَحْلِيَةٌ لِلطَّاعَاتِ 
قد انشرح صدر صاحبها للإسلام فهو على نور من ربه That person is swimming in obedience brothers and sisters His heart is just, his chest is just open for Islam He's like the, what Allah said in the ayah فمن شرح الله صدره للإسلام فهو على نور من ربه فويل للقاسية قلوب من ذلك الله He's upon light In our next episode inshallah ta'ala I'm going to go into the three that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned in this hadith and the importance he gave to it sallallahu alayhi wa I'm going to go into that inshallah ta'ala anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it subhanakallahumma bihamdi ashadu wa la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa tawbu ilayhi Ramadan with AMAU Make this the best Ramadan you've ever had by joining our exclusive online community with regular private classes, digital resources, weekly accountability sessions and daily Quran gatherings. This is one opportunity you definitely do not want to miss. So sign up now at amau.org forward slash Ramadan and we look forward to welcoming you on the other side.